Hey, yo, what up, man? Hey, um, I'm just gonna give you a quick, you know, should you go watch Thor Ragnarok thing? I didn't even make a trailer or anything for it, or even mess around with the name. But anyways, should you go watch this movie? Hell yeah, man. It's probably my favorite now Marvel movie. I went in there with not really anything expecting much. I mean, I saw the trailer, saw what was gonna go down. Was scared that the trailer revealed everything, but no, actually. The movie itself fucking was amazing. From uh, the first act to the final act, fucking, I didn't, I didn't fucking feel bored one minute at all. Uh, you have fighting scenes, you have fucking explanation, you have fucking more fighting scenes. It just keeps going on. Jokes in between them, because you know Marvel throws those jokes in there, which are fucking, no, all of them were pretty fucking funny. Most of them were references to shit that's happened to the characters, but I mean overall they were still fucking funny jokes. And a lot of adult jokes, too. I mean, it's a you know, Marvel movie. Yeah, it's going to aim for adults. But there were kids there. I mean, in the theater I was, there was a bunch of kids. <laughs> it didn't get many of the jokes that these guys threw. But it was still pretty funny. All right. Um, so, without spoiling much, uh, if you haven't seen it, I'd suggest go watch it. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything in this video. I'm just going to give you a rundown. So, if you've been keeping up with what's been happening in the Thor's part of the universe, and Marvel Universe Studios, you remember that scene at the end of, a, uh, what was it called, that movie, Doctor Strange, when he's talking to Thor? That's in here to explain what's going on. Apparently, him and Loki go and look for Odin on Earth. Odin reveals a deep secret from his past. Man, this motherfucker has some secrets, man. God knows what other secrets he hasn't tell, him, tell his kids. But eventually Odin goes away, and uh, as soon as he goes away, like that, like a split second later, fucking Thor's older sister comes into the play. Hella, have you guys seen it in the trailers? Yeah, fucking crazy. From there on, shit goes down. Thor, uh, Thor gets trapped on this other planet. Shit goes down there. Have you guys ever fucking read anything like, or even watched the animation from like Planet Hulk? Similar to that, a lot of characters from the those come out. The rock dude, the little fucking insect. And, uh, yeah. Thor is trapped on that planet as a gladiator. He has to fight his way through that shit. Uh, meets an, another fucking person from his planet. Gets in there. Then they, the final act is all about trying to get save Asgard. Now, let me tell you, I wasn't expecting that ending until, you know, towards the end. But whatever. Uh, overall, the ending was pretty good. I mean, that's the only way they could have ended it, really. I mean, trust me, this uh, Hela is extremely powerful. But whatever's. But yeah, dude, straight uh, action all the way through. Um, the only one real issue I had was Jeff Goldblum. You know, he wasn't anything. He was just being Jeff Goldblum. Or whatever his fucking name is, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum does this. Jeff Goldblum does that. He was just Jeff Goldblum. I don't even know what happened to him in the movie at the end. But yeah, that's it, man. That's your whole story right there in a nutshell without spoiling much to it. It's a great film, man. Go check it out. Highly encourage you guys to watch it. Take your kids. Uh, take everyone. Take your friends. Hell yeah. Worth your money, definitely. One, one of my top five Marvel movies now, man. So what would I give this? I don't know. I can't really rate it. I mean, I did see it, but what would I give this? I loved it right now. I got to rewatch it again a couple of times. But as of right now, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, man. It was just that good. Almost a 10 out of 10. But nah, I'm going to stick with a 9. Good movie. One of the best Marvel films I've seen. It's on par with like Guardians of the Galaxy. Almost the first one. And, uh, yeah, man, hopefully they keep this running. I'm half expecting them to make a bad movie at this point. I thought fucking uh, Doctor Strange was going to be bad. But, no, I actually like that one, too. But, uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. It was a quick little look at it. Go watch it. Hit that like. Hit that sub. Catch you all next time.